Here is a quick tutorial on how to create a Google form on your phone. So let's get started. First, you have to go to your browser and then search forms.google.com. This is the website and this will take you to a new form. So from here, we can add questions, change the theme and then send the form to others. So the best way to start off is by adding a title to this form. So just click on untitled form that's over here and now you can call it whatever you want. You can add a description below if you want to. And now let's see how we can add our first question. For this, click on untitled question that's written below. And now we can change this to ask our first question. So for now, let's keep this name. And as you can see, the type of answer which we expect has automatically changed to a short answer. And if you click on this, you'll see all the options. So they have short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, checkbox, and a lot more. So this is the type of response that we expect for this question. Since we're only asking the name, we can leave it as short answer. And there's one more option for this question, and that's required. So you can decide if you want to make this question required. So this means that everyone who fills in this form will have to enter their name, and only then they can submit the form. So let's enable it, and now it's done. So now I'll quickly show you how to add a few more questions of different types. To add another question, click on the plus button that's over here. And if you scroll down, the same way this question has come here. Just click on it to edit. So here, I can type in the second question. Let's say I want to ask, are you subscribed? So for this question, we'll expect a multiple choice answer. And as you can see, they've automatically added that. And now if we want to add options, they've given some suggestions of yes and no. But if you want to manually add them, you can just select option one that's here, then type in yes, then click on add option below, and no has automatically come. Again, you can decide if you want this question to be required. This time, I won't select it. Now, I'll just add a last question. So again, click on the plus button, and this time, I'll just type comments. And as you can see, the answer has changed to a paragraph. So you can follow the same method to add questions. And another thing you can do is reorder the questions. So they have these six dots over here. And if you long press on them, you can drag a question above or below. And now you can see that this has become the first question. But if you want to undo this change, just click on undo. That's this button on top. And again, it's gone below. So once you've added all questions and you want to get a preview of how your form will look to others, you can click on the dots, which are on the top right, and then click on preview. So this is how the form will look to someone that's filling it in. It'll first be asked their email, name, and then these two questions. And if you notice next to name, there's an asterisk, and this is because it's a required question. So again, to edit, just go back, and now we've reached the same page. Another thing you can do is change the theme of this form. For that, click on this button on top, and these are all of the options which you have. And this will apply to headers, questions, and text. Then, if you want a header image, you can choose an image from here. And the last option is the color of the form. So if I want to change it to, let's say, red, I can do that and change the background as well. And then click on Apply. That's on the top right. And as you can see, now the form theme has changed. So once your form is ready and you've previewed it, the last step is to share the form with others. And to do this, you have to click on this button, which is to publish. So here you can manage who all can respond to this form. Currently, it's anyone who has the link, but if you want to change it, just click on manage. For now, I'll just click on publish. Form is published and accepting responses. And to share the form with others, just click on this button to copy the link. So here, they've given the responder link. You can shorten this URL, then just long press and click on copy. So now the link is copied, and if I just go to a new tab and paste it, here you can see that it's working and someone can fill this form. So this is how it works. And one last thing you should know is checking responses. I've made a detailed video on this, but in short, you can just click on responses that's here. And here they have three response views, a summary, question by question, or individually. And you can just go through this. So this is how it works. And if you want to know how to see the responses in more detail, check out this video. Goodbye.